Hey guys. Today I want to talk about spawn camping and uber charges. Now you may think, well, this topic's been beaten into the ground. Spawn camping is unfair, not legit. Thing is, I think that's pretty fair. It's all about your team having to deal with teamwork and getting out. If it wasn't for that, well, where would you be? Still in spawn? Steamrolling the other team? Who knows? But the whole point at the start of Red's round is to spawn camp you as hard as they can so you don't get out and capture your objective. Now while it may seem that it's unfair, you actually have the biggest advantage over the opposing team when being spawn camped. You have access to a locker room, access to the locker for infinite health and ammo, access to the ability to get your uber charges built faster while being in spawn. You have a little bit access to everything. But if you're being spawn camped, your best target is always going to be the medic. You get rid of the medic, you get rid of the access to health. Without the access to health, the spawn campers die and go down even faster. you may think, oh well, the medic's going to be dodging and whatnot. Well, of course. That's what the medic's for. Now, wait you may think even further is spawn camping what is the real definition of spawn camping well to me the definition is a group or person camping the door or spawn location of a person or team but not allowing them to exit whatsoever whether they die or not. Personally, that's how I put it. Others may put it as not being even allowed to get near their objective on the other side of the map. The full definition of spawn camping, however, is up to debate. And based on what your opinion is, is how you'll define spawn camping. Now even if you find that unfair, everyone has their different views. Overall, matter of opinion. So if you think it's unfair to spawn camp, that's alright. I respect your opinion. But at the same time, it's not going to dissuade me from pulling it as a legitimate tactic if need be. Even professional players know that spawn camping is a legitimate tactic because it's all on their skill level to get out. If they can't get out, and they're not trying to get out as hard as they should, then there definitely will be a problem. And as I said, I'd also like to talk about, about Uber charges. You may think, well, Uber charge in Team Fortress 2 makes you invulnerable for 8 seconds. Well, true, 
An Uber charge can be classified as any one of the four. Eight seconds of crit Greek. Eight seconds of invulnerability. Eight seconds of extreme overhealing. Or four segmented sec two seconds of damage reduction, health gain. All based on your medigun. The Uber Charge can make or break a game. It can also make or break spawn camping too. Together they go hand in hand. You need the Uber Charge to get out of spawn. And you need the Uber Charge to spawn camp. Two sides to one coin. If your team isn't running a medic, you may want to. That Uber charge can be pretty deadly. It can hold some of the greatest positions just by holding that one right click to make or break a game just right in your hand. It's up to you to decide when to use it. It's when you need it. However, you can still have that power removed from you instantly. A spy backstab or a sniper headshot and your uber's gone. You had no chance of countering. After you've dropped that Uber, it's all over. That Uber could have changed the game, changed the tides. And you don't always have to Uber just one target. Spreading the love around with a Medibeam, spreading it along an Uber to put out flames, Gerati, milk, to stop big attacks and pushes from killing other players saving other players from a near death experience there's a lot one uber charge can do for a team we can make sure you can even stay alive too if all your teammates have died and you need to retreat If you think that a medigun or playing medic is pretty bad, well, maybe there's a bit to learn. Never forget, even though you may be invulnerable, watch your back. You never know what may come up behind you. You watch your back, your teammates will watch their back and switch on each other when one needs to retreat both retreat standing out in front getting yourself killed peeking around corners when you shouldn't yeah you're gonna die but that uber charge you build with your team by protecting each other by building bond with each other can be the most memorable experience you have. Saving your teammates, holding the assault classes, supporting the supports when needed, always being at the ready. You can make a world of difference with that one Uber charge. Effectively, with an Uber charge, with multiple players being invulnerable, you make it even harder for your team to fall. And if you're spreading love around with the medigun, increasing everyone's health, you can make a big difference.
never forget. Love the medic. And never quit, no matter how much you've been stabbed or shot. It takes time. It takes practice. And hand in hand, the medic is one of your most valuable classes you'll ever have on a team. Thanks once again for all, everyone watching. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Big mentions go out to Mr. Paladin and Retro on Heavy, who played in both maps of the clips. and to deny the engineer from the first map. Thanks once again. See you in the next video.